Greetings, stargazers. I am William Lilly, and I am pleased to have you here with me at the Lilly Lectures as we navigate the vast expanse of astrological wisdom from my book, Christian Astrology. So without further ado, let's dive into the celestial wonders awaiting us today, which is concerning the agreement of friends. If someone asks whether they will join in harmony and unity with their friend or not, observe the Lord of the Ascendant and the Moon. If you find them applying to the Lord of the Eleventh House, it signifies that they will come together and agree. If the application is by a sextile or trine, they will unite with respect, desire, joy, and love. However, if the application is by a square or opposition, their union will involve quarrels and conflicts, and they will find each other irritating. Note that an application by opposition is worse than an application by square. Note that if someone asks for something secretly, saying, please tell me if I will obtain the thing I hope for or not, consider whether the Lord of the Ascendant and the Moon are applying to benefix planets and are in angles or succedent houses. If they are, then the person will obtain it, otherwise they will not. However, if the querent openly reveals and names the thing they seek, then you should look at the appropriate house pertaining to that matter and make a judgment based on the indications present. Thank you for joining me on this journey today. If you enjoyed this lecture, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future cosmic updates. Until then, may your skies be clear and your curiosity boundless. I am William Lilly, and this is Christian Astrology.